Another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can add outlets and actions into our app using Swift. So more specifically, IB outlets and IB actions. So we're going to get started as always by starting up Xcode, creating a new project. Once Xcode decides to load, we're going to stick with a single view app, call the project what you'd like. We're going to call a test and save it. And while Xcode is doing our thing, make sure you smash that like button below for more Swift tutorials and other software engineering videos. Let's expand our Xcode window and jump into our view controller. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about outlets and then we'll talk about actions. So outlets are a way that we can connect our code to user interface elements that we add onto a storyboard or a nib. So if we drag on a button onto our screen and we want to update its title or color or anything about it, in other words, if we want to reference the thing that we add here programmatically, we need an outlet connected to it. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to change the background color of our main screen here to black. And we're going to add a couple outlets. So let's ignore my antivirus pop up. Let's add a couple elements. So let's add a button. We're going to add a button up here. And let's also add a UI view, which is just a rectangular view. And let's hit Command R to build and run this app and see what we get. We should get a screen that looks almost identical to this in just a sec. So let's say in code I want to change this rectangle's background color to red. Give it a sec. If we want to change this to red, how do we do that? The way we do that is through an outlet. So let's go back to our view controller and we want to create an at IB outlet. It's a variable and we're going to give it a name of my view and we need to give it a type. So we, we saw that we dragged on a UI view. We're going to say UI view. And we also have to add a exclamation point, which is a force unwrap. And this is basically guaranteeing to the Swift compiler that we will connect this outlet to the element on our storyboard. And oftentimes a mistake that I see people make is you might create the outlet here and do stuff with it down here, but you forget to connect the outlet to the thing that you dragged on the screen here, which causes your app to crash. So now that we put the outlet in our code, we need to actually connect it. And the way we do that is right clicking the view controller up here. And we'll see that there's this section here called outlets and it has the my view that we added. So we can click and drag from the circle next to my view to our view and we can drop it. And like that, you can see it creates a connection. Now, if we go to our code and we do stuff to this my view, it'll actually happen to the view that we've added. So if we say my view background color is red, when we run the app, it'll be red. Now keep that in mind when you run it, it'll be red. Not when you go back to here to look back here to look at this. This is still the white. The code implementation will always, always, always uh, supersede the dragged on look of the object. So if we hit command R to run this application, we will see that our rectangle is red. Awesome. So let's actually add a uh, IV action for this button and also change its text. So something cool to note is the IB here actually stands for interface builder and storyboards and .xib files are actually just fancy interface builders and interface builder is what Apple used to call this when iOS development first became a thing back in uh, early 2009, which seems like forever ago when I first started developing for iOS. So we're going to create another outlet. It's going to be a variable. It's going to be a button and it's going to be a UI button. So let's head back to our main.storyboard. Right click our view controller. Let's expand this and right click it. And we're going to drag from our button to our button. And notice it even gives you a little 
uh, highlight around the button, which helps us visually. So we're going to do that. Go back to our, whoops, go back to our view controller. And in here we can say button set title. Let's say tap me and normal. And if you're not familiar with the set title and normal and all this fun jazz, uh, it's a little irrelevant for this video. Just understand that we're assigning and updating attributes on these elements. And the way that we're doing it is through outlets where the code here references the stuff that we dragged onto the screen. So as you can see, our button text is now tap me, but the actual button isn't wide enough. So the actual text is getting cut off. So let's come here and expand this. Hit Command R to build and run, and we'll see tap me. Cool. So now that we understand actions, let's take a look at, or now that we understand outlets, let's take a look at actions. So outlets allow you to connect the element to the uh, code implementation. An action, as you can apply or infer, allows you to connect a action in code to the user performing an action on something. So the most common way that I like to explain this and the most common way you're going to use this in practice is with buttons, which is why we added a button. So when you tap this button on your screen in your storyboard, you want to link it to a, an action in code that gets fired, right? Or gets called. So we're going to go to our view controller and in here we're going to create a function and let's call it did tap button. And we want to print out I got tapped. To make this an IB action and not just a normal function, we can just prefix this with at IB action. So similar to at IB outlet, this is an interface builder action. And also similar to an outlet, we need to connect this IB action in our storyboard. So let's go back to main.storyboard. We can right click this view controller. And at the bottom of this, we'll see that we have an option to drag from the circle to our button. And notice it again gives us a highlighted uh, perimeter so we know we're connecting it to the button itself. And once we drop it, we'll get this menu. And this menu basically are all the various actions that people can take on a button. For example, you can just tap it, you can tap and hold, you can double tap, etc., etc. The one that's most common is touch up inside, which is a basic tap when the user touches inside the button and lets go. So we're going to click on this, which connects our IB action to the button action itself. We're going to hit Command R to build and run. We'll also expand our window down here. And if you take a look at this, let's make this a little bigger. If you take a look at this, when I press this button, we get this printed out. Every time I press it, like so. So we've successfully linked our actual function in our view controller to our action on the storyboard. And we've also successfully linked our my view and button to the view and the UI button that we dragged onto the screen. And we're updating their attributes. In this case, the background color and the buttons case, we're updating the title. So in a nutshell, that's how you add actions and outlets. That's what they're used for. And yeah, this is a very popular way to design apps. It's super simple and intuitive, and I hope you understand now how to go about using them. If you like the video, please hit that like button below. It helps out the video and channel a lot. If you're new, please do subscribe. We do daily Swift tutorials, other app development, uh, and a couple cool other tech things along the way. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.